Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to E-Dogs Reviews. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Insecticon Bombshell. Now this figure is for ages 8 and up. It does come packaged in robot mode as you can see on the right. But let's take a look at the box on the left. On the front you already have him in his uh, insect mode. We'll talk about that later later on in the video. On this side of the box we have this lovely collage of different characters there. On this side of the box we have in, uh, Insecticon Bombshell up there. We have him in the robot mode. It takes 13 steps to get him into this insect mode. We'll talk about Evo Fusion which is a thing. Uh, on this side of the box we have a close-up of his face on the top and on the bottom we have a far away sh uh, uh, shot of him shooting something with his uh, left arm I believe there. On the top of the box we have these QR codes that allow you to see his stats if you're in, you know want to see those. On the bottom is his barcodes and product information and copyrights and all that other good stuff. So there you have that for the box. Now the first thing we're gonna do is accessories. Let's talk about accessories. So this is his gun. It's called the Twin Ion Impulse Blaster. This is his G1 gun. And it's really nice. It's painted all the way silver, you know, nothing else, you know, other colors to break it up. And you can put it in either hand. Does not make a difference where you where, where you put it. Right? So just put it in here. And if you had those effects uh, uh, parts, you can put that effects part on the top if you so need it. Now, another thing you can do is you can bring in that Evo Fusion pieces right now. And you have these two things now. They, they can act as guns or they act like legs. It's up to you, but they're part of uh, the gun as well. And you have different options. So I'm just going to run through the options on how you can have this display. Now, what they want you to do is take these little things, right, and you plug them in here like that, right? And you still get these little nubs for the uh, effects parts if you want to do that. And you can put them on here. Now, what this allows you to do is transform the figure without even taking these off, right? You can just go straight to the insect mode, wouldn't miss a beat, which is cool. Now, you may or you may not like that. You may be that person that wants to switch them around. So, let's turn this back like this. You can have it like that, or maybe you want to point them at an angle. That could be a thing. Right? Have them at an angle like that. Right? So you have that kind of look. The other option is pretty simple. You can connect them to the gun. And there's two ports. There's a port right there and then there's a port right there. And you can pop them into the side. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. There we go. And you can just beef up that weapon like so. You can have this going on. Right? That looks a little bit no more nicer, I think. I'm going to just turn down the brightness just a tad. Right? That looks nice. Now, Bombshell is a psychological warfare type of person. He likes to play games, he likes to do things with your mind and stuff like that. So he has these things called Cerebro Shells and if you get hit by one of these Cerebro Shells he is able to control your body and make it do whatever he wants. My question is can he shoot you in any other part of the body to do that? If you happen to know that just drop that in the comments. That's just this one of his abilities. All right. So we're going to take this gun out for a little while. And we're going to go through what he looks like. Now, you can have it like this. We're not ready for the transformation yet. Just not yet. We have it like this. Right? With the, uh, I don't know what you call this. This panel down on his eyebrows. Or you can have it like the G1. 
and you can have it like that and you know have the you know that that free space around his head now going to articulation you can do this with the insect legs right you can do this which is nice you can bring up the arm like so that's that's probably as high as you're gonna go you can swing it around without a problem 360 degrees there you have you know biceps flow over there uh the hands are locked into place because they have to go into this little sleeve here um the legs can go up that hard bring it on here on that knee there we have thigh swivel here we have ankle rocker now here you do have to work to get it going because it's really tight but you can have it like that if you need to all right let's bring up this arm right here we're gonna bring back the leg like that that's as far as you're gonna get on the higher thigh of the leg you say and then they'll have the lower leg going all the way up like that now if you need to do a side kick you can do a side kick like that and the same thing with this thigh right here now this could count as an inner thigh movement right here you can count that in as well and then you have uh 360 degrees but that is also for the transformation at the waist now the head doesn't have too much room to play with you're going to do that much if this piece is down but if you leave it up like right about there you could probably get it tad more now it doesn't look up and down so i'm guessing it's going to be a mushroom peg that's underneath there but you can have different looks you can have that look or that look you know do whatever you want right so the transformation takes about uh 13 steps and it's very similar to shrapnel and in fact i believe the transformation is kind of based on him so we're going to take this gun apart and we're going to brighten ooh too bright right and you're going to get that ready so we're going to start transformation here so the first thing i like to do is i like to take care of the arms and the hands first so you take the hands just flip those in take the hand flip that in no big deal right next thing you want to do is take this panel you just want to flip it over and it's this little notch now it's supposed to click but sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't right you have this going up like that All right, uh next thing we want to do is we're going to turn at the waist right turn at the waist halfway around and we want to get this uh panel open here to get this ready All right open these two panels and we want to combine auroras this stuff so you want to do this bring this up like that bring this over like that we're going to leave it there just for a minute just for a minute and then we want to get in here and you want to get the foot up like that same thing on this side we're going to open up this panel this time we're going to take care of the foot first and then we're going to combine where is it like that now we're going to peg them together I'm going to plug these in. Hmm. Right, and the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in the shoulders. So we're going to bring up the shoulders like this, like that. And we want to bring them in at the shoulder. And they're going to click into place. And we have to look for this notch right here that's underneath the sleeve, right? Bring it where that, that notch is. And it's gonna fall into this this uh, slot right here. There's one right there and there's one right there. And bring that down.
Now we take these little, uh, we, can, we call it guns, I guess, if you want, you plug them in here. And they become the legs for the back ends. Make sure that's tight. And we take the gun, pop them in here. And here you have him in his insect mode. Now, what I did is do is uh, I've done uh, some um, research on what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a bull weevil. A bull weevil is a very tiny insect. It eats cotton buds and flowers and stuff like that. Um, not exactly sure where you're going to find such a thing. Uh, I live in the city, just to you know, just to let you know. But this is probably like more of a country thing than uh, I, I, I suggest. But this is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the back. This is what it looks like from the other side. This is what it looks like from the top. And that's what it looks like from the bottom. Now in the show they all seem to fly so don't ask me how that is done with this. Uh, it's a cartoon so they can get away with everything pretty much. Okay. Uh, so we're going to bring in his peoples. We're going to bring in shrapnel. Bring in shrapnel there. Right, we're gonna do a size comparison because he is a little tad wider than Bombshell. This is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the front. And that's the other side. Just bring in kickback. Now, shrapnel is a stag beetle, beetle, excuse me, beetle, stag beetle, and uh, kickback is a grasshopper, self-explanatory. So you have those three right there, and those look very, very nice together, right? Very nice to have these guys. Do a comparison with him, and all the colors seem to match. It's nothing crazy out of order, you know. Please don't mind the music outside. And uh, I think that's about it for that. All right, so we're going to transform all three of these guys. All right, so we're going to get this stage out of here. And we're going to start with Bombshell first, right? So we're going to go back to robot mode. We need to, in fact, we're going to leave these on this time. So we're going to pull these out, bring this up like that. Pull this out, arm, bring this out. Pull this down, bring this out. Uh, swing this open. Bring this up. Bring this up. Uh, you take these two panels. You want to plug them in. Swing this around like that. I'm going to get in here and get the arm. So we're going to swing this around. Pull the pull the um, arm out like this. Swing this around. Get the hand out. Like that. Make sure all of this is in the right place. Undo this. Then I'll bring it back, actually, all the way back. So you have this look right here. And we have him in the robot mode. That was very, very quick. Here we're gonna pop this his gun back in here. So that's one and done. We're gonna try this one. We're gonna try shrapnel. Take this gun out. And again, it's very similar to bombshell. 
bring these arms out, bring this back, bring this down, split it, take the feet, put those stuff in. All right, get that ready. Turn at the waist. And you want to close the doors. That door is already closed. Um, we're gonna bring this down, make sure we have it the right way. So we get in here, get, get the hand out. And next, last but not least, we're gonna do these right here. Get his gun, put it in the opposite hand this time. And you have shrapnel and his robot mode. We're gonna stick him on that side. Right, so I'll bring this down on this gear bit. Focus. So next is uh, kickback. Very, we're gonna start with the hands first. So we're gonna do this, right? And we need to flip over the hand. Other side, we're gonna flip over the hand. Take this gun out of his chest. Uh, we're going to take these inset feet, flip them over, bring them down, turn these around, bring these down, bring these in. Bring those in like so. Take the wings, bring this over like that. Bring the arms down. Bring the arms down and turn the head. You want to put his gun on the right hand side. Take the feet, bring out the feet like so. And then you have a uh, kickback in his robot mode. So you have all three together. And since we have him here, we're going to do a lot of uh, robot <laughs> comparisons. And trust me, it's going to be the timeline uh, version of it. So just hold on to your seats here. So we're going to bring in the slide these apart. You're gonna bring in the let's bring in let's bring in the leader who always terrifies them and stuff and gets them to do whatever they want. Uh, Megatron, you have that right there. Uh, if we go further along to the movie. You can pick which side they belong on. That's uh, Skywarp and and uh, Thundercracker. <clears throat> uh, if we want to go uh, either further, we have Cyclonus and Scourge. If we go into, let's say, Beast Wars. Um, let's see, hold on. Okay, so Bombshell, right next to him will be um, Tarantulas. Because they kind of do the same thing. Um, 
Uh, where was he? Where did he go? Okay, so... And then we have Watchman Enter. You can stick next to... Um, kickback. Don't really have anybody for... For... Um, shrapnel. So we're going to do two instead of one. Um, I was... It's a... Uh, it's it's not really in they're really not the same but it will probably be scorpionox but he's a beetle he's a scorpion right and then last but not least we have inferno So you have all these different comparisons here. So we can get these out of here. And then we'll bring it in the box. All right does come included with instructions very easy to follow and um that's about it i think that's going to be it for this little short video here now the next character that we're waiting on to be released will be um a deluxe uh ramjet uh after that i'm going to need help from the audience if you you know if you would like to help me out uh i need to pick a devastator i need a devastator to go with these guys and the only ones i can think of is the uh combiner wars devastator um so if you suggest that put it in the comments if you suggest something else let me know what your opinions are and then i'll buy those to conclude the the decepticons now on on the other flip side of that coin, Studio Series haven't uh, said anything about Devastator um, right now. They just did the uh, the Ultra Magnus. So who knows? He that we may may he may show up in Studio Series. So we'll just have to see. So if you enjoyed this short little video, please give it a, little, a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions on how to improve the videos, please, I don't mind. Just put them down below in the comments. I respond to them. And the next one we're going to be doing is, I think I, I waited too long, is uh, Sludge. I'm just waiting on a third party uh, item to come in the mail and we're going to be doing that next. So I want to thank all of you ladies and gents for watching the video and have a great weekend.